Hey everyone, it's me, Alex, yet again. I'm just making just a couple um, videos, so we're more than a couple, just a few, a um, lot of videos today. And another tool that um, people might want to use, um, but one that's not necessary um, unless you want it to be, is the candle snuffer. And candle snuffers are really simple, and what they do, you just stick it over the flame of the candle and it snuffs it out. Now, the reason why you might want to have a candle snuffer magically is because um, some people feel that when you blow it out that you are um, insulting the fire elemental, that you are um, blowing away your magic, and there are just different reasons why some people want to use a candle snuffer. One of the uh, practical purposes of using a candle snuffer is that if you are blowing out a candle, sometimes wax gets everywhere. And then there's that smoke that's, that makes um, some people a little bit sick. And sometimes it's just a little, and sometimes people, um, if they want to go magically, they don't want to lick their fingers and go, you know, you know, out the candle. Um, so the candle snuffer is actually the perfect thing to use in order to avoid all of that. Um, I got this one right here on eBay, and I personalized it a little bit by painting um, the ends. You can see it was a jewel one. And I actually had a really tough time trying to find a candle snuffer um, in, in out in everyday regular life. So you might have to look online for them, or you might have to go to a specific candle shop. Because I went to Yankee Candle, and they didn't have any. But um, that's something that you might wish to invest in. There's also these things called wick dippers. I haven't been able to find any because I've had a tough enough time trying to find a candle snuffer. But apparently you're supposed to, they're even better because you're supposed to be able to take them and just dip the wick into the wax. And that way when you relight your candle, um, you're just supposed to be able to light it just a little bit easier. So you do have those options. So magically, you have the options of blowing out your candles, which I don't have a problem with because to me, um, it's not an offense if I blow it lightly. And I also believe that my breath is powerful so that I'm able to um, blow on it and send the magic out um, using my breath that way. You have the candle snuffer, which is um, safe, practically, and magically if you want to go that route. You also have the wick dippers, or some people just allow the candle to burn out um, completely. But if you want to save your candles, then one of the first three options is obviously the best way to go. Especially if you um, don't want to leave your candle burning all, all night. Or if it's going to be an hour more, you may not want to sit there and watch the candle burn that long unless it's part of the spell. Alright, so if you have any questions or comments, of course, just leave them there. And um, that's pretty much it. In my next video, I'll show you the next tool.